5th of September over here, nice sunny day. And um, we're going to do some tie rods on this car here today. We knew they were bad over a year ago. And uh, it's finally getting to the point where um, they got to be done. And uh, the, way, the way we do these for ease is just to pull the gas tank up out of the way and work down through there. What we got going on. And that's not wheel bearing, that is uh, all tie rods. And we got a little bit of the same thing going on on the other side. So it was getting a little bit uh, hoppy going down the road, but being that the alignment's good, it still ran straight. So we're going to get this tank out of here and see what we're going to do. All right, you can kind of see what we're doing here. There's only like a quarter tank of gas in there, so we went ahead and pulled it up out of the way and wired it up so it won't fall back down in. And then we can get it all this stuff straight down through the hole. It'll make things much easier for changing this stuff out. Alrighty then. Well, here's our dilemma. Originally when I started this business, I grabbed these two. These are the ones that came off uh, Jason's thing when we raised the front end on that and they're just they're good he put just brand new stuff on when we put the raised spindles so I was gonna just slam these guys on there and away we go because they look they look correct and the length is correct however eagle eye of my kid happened to notice that the size of the uh, fastener there right here the ones on the thing are much larger, so we went out to the pile and dug around and we came up with uh, multiple pieces from several because all four of his tie rod ends are bad, but digging through a multiple of tie rod, uh, tie rod ends and front ends, we came up with this short guy which has a uh, good inner and a bad outer, but the uh, boot is really good. And we came up with another one that has a good outer, but a bad boot. So we're going to make one out of those two. And then we also came up with the other side right here, which is good on both ends. Um, except one boot is bad. So between all these pieces, we're going to put it together. This one is slightly different in that the inner end on it is a solid all the way half shaft. And then um, the adjustable part is on the outer, but it's not going to get in the way of anything for our application. This came off of a earlier model, but it's straight. Everything's cool. Same length same ends, good tie rods. So anyway, now we're going to mix and match our bits until we have a pair and go put them on the car. And I just talked enough, right? <laughs> well, short little update. We got our uh, one we're going to use here all sorted out. Um, we're going to now get the length identical to the one we took out because this car does not wear tires it goes straight down the road and uh, we can't get in here on the pavement to align it properly so we're just going to put it back with the same distances as what we took out because that's the way we aligned it many years ago when we started driving it so that's the plan we're going to get this all adjusted up and then probably put it in the car and then get the long one to take care of Behind me there. There you go. <laughs> oh, you don't get the holiday off, do you? No, no work. Son of a gun. I know, I'm not looking forward to that. But That'll be all Actually, right. I'm looking forward to the pay. I guess so. Right, the pay's good, and there'll probably be a bunch of freaking drunk people doing stupid shit to. Uh, Keep you busy, right? Keep you busy. Yeah. Way to look optimistic. 
There you go. Labor Day situation there. Well, we got all that monkey business uh, put in there and the tank put back in. He's going to go for a little test run here and see how he likes it or doesn't. And then uh, we're either done or we're not. And then I think we're going to check the timing on this car while we're at it here. Let's get that box. Okay. Yeah, take it out on, uh, you know. I usually go Rosa. Wherever, yeah. Just take it out and get a get a spin on it. See how it works. All right. Oh yeah, we gotta do a up them on this guy. Nineteen sixty-seven Volkswagen Beetle. And a set of decent tie rods on it. Used. Alrighty then. Are you happy now? Are you happy now? Alrighty then. I guess that's it for the steering issue on this thing. We'll uh, adjust a little timing and this and that. And uh, anyway, so uh, what do you say there, kid? Thank you. Thank you for watching. Yes. And kid's gone and uh, time to move the golf in here back in the driveway and stuff. Got his. Uh, Tie rods taken care of, adjusted brakes all around. What else did we do? Uh, adjusted timing. Anyway, he's a happy guy. Off and uh, out and about again, but uh, it was a good day. Any day you can spend with uh, family, your kids, whatever, is a good day. So it was a good day. Thanks for watching.